Michael Sattler was a martyr who lived in the 1500s. He was the leader of the early Anabaptist churches, and he was put on trial for his beliefs. He gave an incredibly able defense of his position, but still the authorities decided to condemn both him and his wife, as well as there were about 20 others that he was captured with. And he died with such joy and tranquility, loving and blessing his enemies, that it actually inspired hundreds, maybe even thousands more to join this nascent movement. So Michael Sattler was a man who was compelling because he embodied three virtues. The three virtues come from 2 Timothy 1.7, which says, for God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but a power of love and a sound mind. And I think those three virtues, when you bring them together, represent what the goal of discipleship should be and certainly education. And what you see in Michael Sattler is you see that he was an excellent scholar, one of the best scholars. He knew Hebrew and Greek and Latin. He was committed to understand the scriptures. You see a man who loved the church, who was willing to, to, to bleed with the church, to die with the church. And you see a man of great power as well. He was a tremendous leader. He knew how to organize people, and he's credited with being one of the leaders of the Radical Reformation. And so in that way, Michael Sattler represents the best of what I think we ought to be aspiring to as, as students, as parents, in our own lives and those of our young people.